In the Volta region of Ghana, Africa, everyone depends on water to survive. Every day, with their babies on their backs and water pots on their heads, women walk to the lake to get water. Women wash their clothes on the lake shore and children play and bathe in the water. Farmers stand in their irrigated fields for hours every day, planting rice and caring for their crops. This water is life, but it also hides a danger. In the waters of the lake live snails, which are home to thousands of worm larvae called Schistosoma hematobium. These larvae have sensors that allow them to detect and penetrate into human skin. Females release thousands of eggs every day. Some of these eggs get trapped in body tissues like the bladder wall and cause tumors to form. One day, a young mother will wake up in terrible pain and find blood in her urine. She will go to see the herbalist in her village. That's the normal thing to do. It's easier and more accessible than going to a hospital. There will be no formal diagnosis, so she will only know her illness by its symptoms. The herbal medicine may stop the bleeding, but her recovery will only be temporary. The pain and bloody urine will return. As the pain becomes more severe, the woman won't be able to move and do all the work that her family requires. Maybe, if she is close enough, she will walk many miles to a hospital.
If she finally gets a diagnosis, she will learn the name of her ailments. If she is lucky enough, she will get a dose of Proziquantel. That may cure it this time. Will she get the disease again? Yes. Like most people, she might not know what makes her sick. Or she might not believe that water is the cause of her illness. Or she might know it too well. But she cannot stop going to the lake and the ponds. They are the only source of water, of life. One day, she will see her child's urinate blood and suffer from the same pain. She will imagine the same life for her grandchildren, great-grandchildren, great-great-grandchildren. That is how life is, she may think, and always will be. The people of Ghana are not alone. Over 800 million people around the world come in contact with stagnant, contaminated water every day and are at risk of infection. Of the over 200 million infected, the majority are children aged 5 to 14. Fewer than 10% are treated. 